come out here with me for a little bit and let's have a little chat in the rain. I know it might be a little noisy, but the, amb the ambience is so nice. And you can't get another morning like this. Not another morning exactly like this. There will never be a sky exactly this color again. And it's just such a perfect moment. So I decided to take the video camera out here and see if I could do something with it. Um, I think I'm going to channel, but as usual, whenever a transmission is coming in, it's kind of mysterious to me what will really go on. We're going to go with Mercury again. Let's talk about fire and water. I don't even know if I'll be able to... Oh, there we go. Mercury's been an interesting place to be. In terms of channeling, because so much of it is about contrast. I talked yesterday about the day side, the star side, or the sun side, the star side, and the moon side. The head, the tail, and the rim. Let's talk about fire and water. Fire is the head side. Water is the tail side. And the rim... The rim is the place that the two touch and create steam. And energy and explosive change. That's why it's so small. That's why the rim of the coin is so thin. You don't need too much space for change. You need just an instant. Too much more. And you won't get the change that you're looking for because you'll have so much change that there will be no room for anything to be left afterward. Or in some cases, there will be so much chaos left afterward, there will be no room for things to settle into what it was that you wanted to change things into. So when you're looking for change, keep in mind that the actual part of, of change, the transition, that, that moment of transition is just a sliver. It is, it is the, the edge of the coin, and a very thin coin at that. You'd like to think of a, a penny around this time, I think. Um, that transitional moment is just the edge of the coin, and you're not on that. You're not on that forever, I promise you. You might feel like you're on that forever, but that's that's how it always feels. Because it's a circle as well. And a circle, like it, it is an infinity loop. You're, you're going in a loop. But you're basically going in a, in a very small loop. A, a, a very narrow loop that doesn't technically last long. It's a loop. A loop can be short, but feel like it lasts forever and feel like it lasts for infinity because you've been going around it that long. So, you simply need to break the loop. If you go into a spiral motion, eventually you'll hit one of the flat faces on either side. Now, the thing is, Eventually you'll hit the edge again. There, there, there will always be transition and change. So you do have to understand that this isn't about getting off of the edge and staying off of the edge. This is about understanding that sometimes you live on the edge. And when you live on the edge, you live differently. If you want to stop living on the edge, 
sometimes it's less about struggling and more about relaxing. It's less about scrabbling for any sort of advantage or gain and more about staying still and waiting for your opportunity to walk forward calmly. Sometimes to get your sea legs, you just have to wait and understand as it moves how the boat rocks. And once you get the motion of the ocean, then you've got your sea legs. So, when you get off of the transitional edge, I think you want to end up in the water instead of the fire. Most people do. Uh, it's 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 hard to stay long in the fire. It, it, it's we call it the spotlight. Stars stay in the spotlight for a few hours a night, but they spend the rest of the time doing something else, and a lot of it is just recovery. So you can have your face to the sun, but only for so long. You certainly can't fly too close to it, or you'll pull a Daedalus. So aim for the water. Land in the water, not in the fire. This means that whenever you're at the, the edge, sometimes it can feel tempting to just settle into the, the, the default situation at hand. Uh, settle for less, as it were. It's not that landing on the water side is about settling for less. It's about landing on the peaceful side. It's, it's about settling in peace. Truly settling on this place of land or this patch of water, whatever. You're, you're going to be on an island in that ocean that you land in. It's about settling and truly making yourself at home. Making that place that you're settling in into a home. Now, if you land on the fire side, you're probably going to end up there for the duration of an act. And that act might be an actual stage act. You might, you might perform on YouTube or in person in some sort of quarantine condition. Of course, if you're watching this video later, you may not even know we had quarantine. Maybe it finally stops being a big deal sometime, but I... I, I can imagine that you are affected by it uh, for a while yet. <sighs> if you land in the fire, be prepared to dance. Keep your feet moving before they set on fire. If you land in the fire, then it's a sign that you need to keep moving. You can't stay still when you land in the fire. That is a place where someone is forged. So, if you land in the fire, get out your weapons or anything that needs to be purged in flame and bring it out because now is the time. And once you're done, Get yourself to the edge again. It's going to probably be a lot easier to get to the water side after that. Because I don't think that you're going to have any materials left that are going to be water susceptible or that are going to float. That's the other thing about water. It's just the surface of the ocean that, that makes it seem flat. That side of the coin is very deep and, and very much has more than two dimensions. So once you go below the surface, feel free to dive and swim for a real long time. Whenever you need to come up, just raise your head up above the surface, and it's like you've never dived down. The water side of the coin is nice. You'll, you'll spend a lot of time there, it's usually where people put their houses, their homes, whatnot. Their dwellings, as it were. Use the edge to protect your home. Use the edge to protect yourself. 
And then you're on the edge. Use that moment the best you can. Because it is a rare moment. It is not a lot of time. It is not a lot of time at all. 